In this video, I would like to tell about the COVID-19 patient count prediction using LSTM. Okay, now we are going to see about the overview of our process. Yeah, COVID-19 disease, yeah, every country infected with this disease started taking necessary measures to stop the spread and provide the best possible medical facilities to infected patients and take precautionary measures to control the spread. Critical cases and mortality rate are also related to individuals having an existing medical history such as a cardiovascular issue, high blood pressure, diabetes, age related weakness or low immunity. The main objective of our process is to predict the COVID-19 positive patients by using the long short term memory algorithm this is a time series uh, data set that's why we have to implement the lstm algorithm that is lstm is the one type of uh, deep learning algorithm lstm expands long short term memory okay uh, in our process the input as covid 19 data set is taken from data set repository uh, I already said we have to implement the LSTM algorithm to predict the COVID-19 patients and also it results for uh, better when compared with existing algorithm. The, finally, the experimental results shows that the MAPE that is mean absolute percentage error. So this is the overview of our process. Then we have to uh, see the flow of our process. First we have to uh, implement the, our data set okay here we are implement the covid 19 data set uh, we have to take the input from our data set then we have to implement the pre-processing step in the step we have to remove the unwanted data or unnecessary noise from our input uh, in pre-processing we have to use three techniques uh, that is uh, handling missing values label encoding drop unwanted columns handling missing values means uh, we have to check any missing values in our input data is there any missing values we have to replace the missing values by zeros or non values why we are uh, use missing handling missing values means to avoid the wrong prediction then we have to implement use label encoding here to encode the uh, input data into some labels that is the uh, uh, string values is converted to integers then we have to drop unwanted columns from our input data if you don't use any columns uh, unwanted columns from for our process means we have to drop unwanted columns because it uh, it consumes uh, some memory space then we have to implement the data splitting data splitting is the major part in the data mining concept because uh, uh, data splitting is the act of partitioning the input data into test and train uh, the test is used for predicting the model and train is used for evaluate the model okay uh, the data splitting is split in the basis of uh, the basis of uh, ratio that means uh, the test it contains the 30 percent the remaining data will be contain the 70 percent will be stored in train data then we have to implement the feature selection feature selection is the to select the best features from our input data uh, after uh, you have to implement the pre after you have to implement the feature selection it will reduce to our uh, uh, input data and uh, it will uh, and it will take some best features from our input data in feature selection we have to implement the c square feature selection it is the best feature selection best feature selection uh, for feature selection techniques and it will give better good results that's why we have to implement the c square in this process uh, finally we have to implement the classification algorithm in this step we have to implement the lstm algorithm long short term memory uh, in lstm the, we have to find the performance metrics is mean absolute percentage error so this is our flow of our process 
now we are going to see the uh, demo part that is our output part just I have run our process we are running our program in spider IDE from Anaconda navigator ok our process is successfully run I will, ok now I will explain the output part one by one ok fine first we have to data selection so this is our input data so I think this is our sample input from our input data I have just displayed 10 rows from our input data totally yeah 10 rows and 7 columns after that we have to implement the pre-processing step in pre-processing we have to implement checking missing values here we are checking the missing values these are these these are the attribute name that is the column name from our input data here date attribute name contains zero right uh, the zero means there is no missing values in the date attribute similarly all other attributes so there is no any missing values from our input data if is there any missing values are occurred uh, we have to replace that missing values by zero or none values so don't forget that step after that we have to implement the uh, label encoding here before label encoding our data set uh, like this then we performed after label encoding our data set will be labeled i hope you understand here province and city is a string we have to encode the label and it converted label numbers okay then the third module is a data splitting so if this is the data splitting just i will display some shape of our uh, data splitting the data splitting is converted uh, split into test and train again the train is split into x train and y train and test is split into x test and y test ok fine here our uh, total number of uh, rows means uh, this is the rows, uh, rows and columns right from our input data we have to split some some rows will be present in x train right 8 not 9 so remaining rows will be the test part so this is the split into our input data is a base of 30 is to 70 then we have to implement the feature selection c square actually our original features is 5 5 columns but we are by applying the feature selection c square we have to reduce the features that is best features from our original features so after that we have to reduce the three columns only so the three columns means this is the best features then we have to implement the lsdm just we have to load our uh, with the help of lsdm we have to find the mean percentage absolute error then just we have our flow of our just this is the validation graph for lsdm this is the recovered count graph so this is our output part here this is the variable exploded it means uh, which variables are used in our process that variables will be stored in this part so these are the variables and it displays the what type of data and it will display also size of our data so this is our output and thank you